This video demonstrates how to log into a router for the first time through an ETH OAM port, which is a 2-in-1 management port. Usually, the router can be a 1U, 2U, 3U, or 5U model. All these models, except for the 1U model, are equipped with two main control boards, each with an ETH OAM port. We use the ETH OAM port on the active main control board for connection. You can determine whether a main control board is the active one by observing its ACTC indicator. If the ACTC indicator is steady on, the main control board is the active one. The following cables may be used when logging in to the device. ETH OAM 1 and 2 transfer cable, Ethernet cable and standard serial cable. The ETH OAM 1 and 2 transfer cable is delivered with the device and used to convert the ETH OAM port into the management console port and management network port. The figure shows the internal line relationship of the cable, which can also be found in the product manual. You can make an ETH OAM 1 and 2 transfer cable based on the internal line relationship if needed. When both the management console port and management network port are used, connect the ETH OAM port with the ETH OAM 1 and 2 transfer cable. Use a standard serial cable to connect the management console port to the PC and use an Ethernet cable to connect the management network port to the NMS server. If only the management console port is used, connect the ETH OAM port with the ETH OAM 1 into 2 transfer cable and use a standard serial cable to connect the management console port to the PC. If only the management network port is used, use an Ethernet cable to connect the management network port to the PC. The ETH OAM port supports Ethernet cable auto sensing and automatically adapts to straight through and crossover cables. First, let's see how to log in to a device for the first time in serial mode. Use the ETH OAM 1 into 2 transfer cable and standard serial cable to connect the device to the PC. On the PC, start the terminal emulation software, such as PuTTY, to connect to the device. Select Serial under Connection from the left navigation tree. Set the port communication parameters to be consistent with the device's default values. By default, the values of the speed, baud, data bits, stop bits, parity, and flow control parameters on the management console port are 9600, 8, 1, none, and none, respectively. Click Open. The system then prompts you to configure an authentication password. After this password is set successfully, the system automatically saves it and displays the command line prompt of the user view, indicating that you have entered the configuration environment of the user view. If the conditions for logging into the device in serial mode are not satisfied, you can connect the ETH OAM port of the device to the network port of the PC through an Ethernet cable and then log into the device in SSH mode. Because the default.cfg configuration file has been preloaded during device manufacturing, the device automatically binds the management network port to the reserved VPN and configures a fixed IP address 192.168.0.1/24 for the management network port. In this case, you can configure another IP address on the 192.168.0.0/24 subnet for the PC and log into the device through SSH. Ensure that the IP address of the network port on the PC is on the 192.168.0.0/24 subnet. On the terminal emulation software, set the IP address of the device to 192.168.0.1 and the login mode to SSH. Enter the username and password. The default username and password are root and change me 123 respectively. For more default device accounts, see list of default accounts and default passwords in the corresponding product documentation. After you log into the system, the command line prompt of the user view is displayed, indicating that you have entered the configuration environment of the user view. After login, you are advised to create an administrator account and delete the root account immediately.